What if you could make a movie from just text alone? ChatGPT has already forced a monopoly over large language models, and Midjourney AI has changed the art world forever. Now NVIDIA has introduced a text-to-video generator that marks the beginning of a whole new frontier. There's a new research paper from Toronto's AI lab called High Resolution Video Synthesis with Latent Diffusion Models. It gives all the details on this new technology. And on this episode of AI Focus, we're about to get into all of the details. From NVIDIA's text-to-video generator to Google's version called Finaki. And stay till the end to see the new innovation known as Thought to Video that uses thought to create images. NVIDIA is known mostly for creating the graphical processing units needed to power huge AI models, but they've recently partnered with Cornell University researchers to create an impressive AI model of their own, Video LDM. LDM stands for Latent Diffusion Model, and this model is capable of creating high-resolution video from just text alone. Latent Diffusion Models are a type of AI that can generate videos without needing to use massive computing power. NVIDIA is able to accomplish this by adding on to the tech made available by text-to-image generators like Stable Diffusion. And what it adds is a temporal dimension. Basically, the AI can make still images move in realistic ways and upscale them using super resolution techniques. This can result in short 4.7 second long videos with a resolution of 1280 by 2048 or longer driving scenes with a resolution of 512 by 1024. Also, the model can generate a variety of missions from a single initial frame to provide multimodal predictions of motion scenarios. LDM image reference networks have been fine-tuned beforehand in the Dream Booth picture collection and are inserted with temporal layers trained in video LDM to translate text to video. Check out what results from this prompt, a stormtrooper vacuuming on the beach. Look what happens when you type, a teddy bear is playing the electric guitar, high definition 4K. Honestly, this feels like magic. On one hand, this will change our GIFs arsenal as we know it. But on a more serious note, this could make video creation available for everyone, and it could be used in a new automated film type function. NVIDIA's AI generation for longer scenes means that soon we'll have way more use for this tech than GIFs. So let's see what NVIDIA can do with longer scenes. The first video is an example of how the NVIDIA model can produce new images and scenery over time. In this first video, you can see that the NVIDIA model, which is the one on the right, can produce new scenery and objects over time while maintaining temporal consistency, unlike the competitor model in the middle, which has the horse jump over the same thing over and over. You'll see the same idea with this bike riding video. And here's the same thing with this scenery video. This is all really impressive. NVIDIA has overcome both redundant footage in these video models and weird warping that tends to happen in longer videos. NVIDIA isn't the first company to create a text-to-video generator though. There's also Google Fanaki, but before we get into that, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news and updates, please subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Google Fanaki has the ability to create 20 second clips with longer prompts and even created a clip that was over two minutes long. In Fanaki, videos can follow a sequence of prompts in the form of time variable text and form a story. Google Fanaki uses a transformer model that translates text embeddings into video tokens which are then detokenized to create the video. Check out this video. The prompt used to create this was, a photorealistic teddy bear is swimming in the ocean in San Francisco. The teddy bear goes underwater. The teddy bear keeps swimming under the water with colorful fishes. A panda bear is swimming underwater. And this one is really impressive. Let's look at this model as I read the prompt, shall we? Lots of traffic in futuristic city. An alien spaceship arrives to the futuristic city. The camera gets inside the alien spaceship. The camera moves forward until showing an astronaut in the blue room. 
The astronaut is typing on the keyboard. The camera moves away from the astronaut. The astronaut leaves the keyboard and walks to the left. The astronaut leaves the keyboard and walks away. The camera moves beyond the astronaut and looks at the screen. The screen behind the astronaut displays fish swimming in the sea. Crash zoom into the blue fish. We follow the blue fish as it swims in the dark ocean. The camera points up to the sky through the water, the ocean and the coastline of a futuristic city. Crash zoom towards a futuristic skyscraper. The camera zooms in to one of the many windows. We are in an office room with empty desks. A lion runs on top of the office desks. The camera zooms into the lion's face inside the office. Zoom out to the lion wearing a dark suit in an office room. The lion looks at the camera and smiles. The camera zooms out slowly to the skyscraper exterior. Time lapse of sunset in the modern city. The startup runway which helped stable diffusion with its text to image generator also revealed its Gen 2 AI video model last month. It can respond to prompts like this one. Late afternoon, sun peeking through the window of a New York City loft. You can also provide a still image to base the generated video on. But what if we didn't need to input text to see a result? What if we could just use our thoughts? As promised, we'll now look at the advancements in thought to images. They put humans into an fMRI machine, showed them images, and then told AI to reconstruct an image based only on how the blood was moving around in the brain. Here, the AI reconstructs what it sees from the human brain. This is absolutely out of this world. Researchers now say we'll be able to decode dreams with this tech. In this next example, the AI was tested to see if it could reconstruct what a human was thinking based on the video of a woman getting knocked forward. The AI then reconstructs what the human is thinking. I see a girl that looks like me get hit on the back and she is knocked off. Also really important to note here, you know, go back to that first law of technology. You invent a technology, you uncover a new responsibility. We don't have any laws or ways of talking about the right to what you're thinking about. We haven't needed to protect that before. There seems to be no end in sight for the scaling up of these technologies. And it's crazy to think about what the future of our world will look like. These recent demos from these companies show a tech in its early stages. We have short clips with characters in warp states, but at the rate at which this tech is moving, we might have feature films ready within the next year. What do you think about this new tech? Let me know in the comments below. Click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen, and thanks for visiting AI Focus.